All right, without further ado, let's get right into question two. Now, question two says, and the paper is a bit pale here, so I'm going to be reading. Two quantities, n and t, are related as n is equal to the square root of t. Find the value of n when t is equal to 49. So I'm going to put that there, there if you've not seen it. So n is equal to the square root of t. And I want to know what n is when t is 49. So all I'm going to do is replace t by 49. I'm going to have the square root of 49. Good. And you can bring in your calculator. You can simply ask yourself, what number do I multiply by itself to get 49? That number is 7. So n is equal to 7. All right. So you don't even need a calculator for that. Make t the subject of the formula. So once again, n is equal to the square root of t. I need to make t the subject of the formula, which means the formula need to say t is equal to something. Now, how do I do that? Now, this is the square root. Now, normally, in order to reverse a process or to get rid of something, we have to use the opposite operation. And the opposite of square root is square. So I'm going to have n square equals to the root of t all squared. Now, what does the square do? The square cancels out the square root. So I have n squared is equal to t. So I can say, therefore, t is equal to n squared. Because as you know, if n squared is equal to t, then t must be equal to n squared. And that is what they required from us right there. All right, and that's an easy one, Mark. Now let's look at the next question. Still a little bit pale, but I'm gonna read. It says, Ali is x years a, x years, Jim is five years older than Ali, and Chris is twice as old as Ali. Write an expression in terms of x for Jim's age and Chris' age. Now, please remember that Ali is X. So that is Ali. Jim is five years older than Ali. So for Jim to be five years older, it must be Ali's age plus five. Chris is twice as old as Ali. And Ali is X. So it's going to be two times whatever Ali's age is, which is two times X, which we simply write as two X. So for Jim's age, I simply just put by this expression X plus five. And for Chris's age, it's going to be two X. All right, not much problem there. In two years' time, the product of Ali's age and Chris' age will be the same as the square of Jim's present age. Now, in two years' time, Ali's age, so that's the first question you need to ask yourself. In two years' time, Ali is going to be two years older. Now, remember that Ali was initially X. So in two years, two years is going to add on to his age or her age. Chris's age is also going to be increased by 2. So Chris was 2x in 2 years' time. Chris would be 2x plus 2. Will be the same as the square of Jim's present age. Now, Jim present age is x plus 5. So I'm going to leave that alone. So the product of Ali's age and Chris's age. Now, please remember that product means that we multiply. Now, because we have more than one part to the expression, we're going to have to put them in a bracket. So x plus 2 times 2x plus 2. And it says it's going to be equal. Same in, it's the same thing as saying equal the square of Jim's present age. That means how much Jim is now before the two-year time, which is x plus 5 all squared. All right. Now, that gave us an idea as to what the answer should look like. So all I need to do is work it down and get the same answer. So let's go. In the first bracket, I need to expand. I need to multiply everything in the first bracket by what is in the second. So let me start with the x. So x will multiply that. Then the x will multiply that. So I'm going to have x times 2x is 2x squared. x times positive 2 is positive 2x. Then you're going to go under now which is 2 times that, and then 2 times that. So 2 times 2x, of course, is going to give me 4x. 2 times 2 is going to give me positive 4. Now, x plus 5 all squared. There are several shortcuts that we could use, but let me just write this out to make it easier for everyone. x plus 5 times x plus 5. All right, in the meantime, I can start simplifying this. So I'm going to have 2x squared, like terms here in the middle. So that's 6x plus 4 equal, now x times x, you know the same procedure, x squared, then x times 5, 
is going to give me 5x. Then you move on to 5, and we're doing the same concept. 5 times x, 5 times 5. So 5 times 5, 5 times x is 5x, and 5 times 5 is 25. So we have 2x squared plus 6x plus 4 equal x squared, like terms here in the middle, 5x plus 5x, that's 10x plus 25. Now we need to bring everything to one side. We don't take everything over to the left side because they're all positive. Once they go over, they're going to subtract. And we're going to put them beside their corresponding like term. So it's 2x squared, care about the x squared, so it's minus x squared, plus 6x, care about the 10x, it's minus 4x, plus 4, care about the 25, is minus 25. And nothing is left over there, so we put a 0. So it's 2x squared, negative, no, sorry, it's not 2x squared, 2 of it minus 1 of it is going to give you 1x squared. We don't need to put the 1 in front of it. Now, 6x minus... All right. No, so there's something I carried over. It's 10x that I carried over. All right, so this right here is a little error. This should be 10x. So it's 6x minus 10x, which is negative 4x. And of course, you have 4 minus 25, which is negative 21. And everything is equal to 0. All right. So let me point this out again. When I brought over the terms there, it would be the x curve come over. So it's been subtracted. 6x is here already. The 10x is positive. So when you carry it over, it's minus 10x. 4 is there. The 25 is positive. So it comes over as a minus 25. And that is the end of that part. Now, the next question says I should calculate Ali's present age. Now, let's go back up to see if we can find Ali's present age. Present age of Ali is actually x, all right? Not x plus 2. x plus 2 would be the age after 2 years, which has not yet come. We're dealing with the present, which was Alice. Now, we, are, we says Ali is x years old, all right? So, at the moment, Ali is x. So, it means that if I can find x, I can find Ali's age. Now, notice that what we have here is that we have a quadratic equation. So by solving this quadratic equation, I'm going to find x, hence finding Ali's age. So we have x squared minus 4x minus 21 is equal to 0. And we know the procedure. We go ac. Now, a is 1, even though we don't see any number there. So 1 times negative 21 is negative 21. Now, we want two numbers. When we multiply it, we get negative 21. When we add it, we get negative 4. So here, I'm thinking we could use negative 7 and positive 3. So we have x squared plus 3x minus 7x minus 21 equal to 0. And then we're going to have to factorize. Now, remember when factorizing four terms, we use the pairing concept. All right. So here, we can take out an x. We're going to have x plus 3 in bracket. Over here, we can take out a negative 7. leaves me with x plus 3. Now remember, once you factor out a negative, then the signs will change. In other words, it will become positive because you took out the negative equals 0. So this becomes x minus 7. And x plus 3 that you'd have factored out equals 0, right? So it's just like we factor out a bracket with x plus 3, leaving it with x minus 7. So now when two things multiply to give you 0, one must be 0. So x minus 7 equals 0, or x plus 3 equal 0, which means that x is either 7 or x equal negative 3. Now, of course, one of these answers don't make any sense because we're talking about age. A person's age can never be negative, so this is not applicable unless we're going back in the past, all right, which is a whole different concept. So therefore, Ali is currently, I right, write a statement, 7 years old. All right, so the important thing in this question is that we read very carefully.